Boy, that's some good window foot cleaner. I feel like I could just reach out and touch, Robert. That's the best window cleaner I've ever seen. All right, here's the window cleaner. This is before. This is after. <laughs> So good morning, it's Monday, January the 4th, and it's time to start a new year and some new projects. We're fixing to get this little bad boy here out. This is my daddy-in-law's little tractor and he wanted this, or rollover bar, or whatever you want to call it. He wanted it fixed where it fold down and we got that done. I'm not sure it's OSHA approved, but, <laughs> We've got it to what, do what he wants it to do. Through there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, here's the aftermath of the auction. You've never got the camera rolling at the good moments. <laughs> I had to gouge on the Chevrolet a little bit. We was doing fine. And the darn traction control on that truck kicked in. And it'll, that stupid traction control will get you stuck every time if you forget to turn it off. But we turned it off and put her down in first gear and mashed on her and told her to come on. And she done it. Got her hay baler sold. We ran it two years and made $125. So I didn't think you could beat that. We had to fix and had to put some. I think I have to put some treads on her truck. Now see if we'll come out. Oh yeah. You find a side way up? We've had this seat cushion for about, I think since August, but we just hadn't put it in. But you can tell by the dust, but the blade tractor's getting a new bottom seat cushion. We've wore it out. I know y'all seen it in some of my videos, but we're fixing to fix that little issue. Looks like we're gonna have to crank it up to Come on, baby.
so we are taking the back window loose because this seat's well, I ain't gonna say it's got to come out, but it looks like that's gonna be by far the easiest way to replace this cushion. It's just to pull the seat completely out, come out the back window with it, and replace the cushion out on the back of the truck. This is not my first rodeo with this. I have had that seat out before. I actually took it out by myself with no help. Let me go right down. There you go. It's like a friction disc thing and then this spring loading where your handle will stay where you put it. Now I gotta go get me a block and put in here. Don't when I pull that pin out, that thing will bite the hell out of my finger. Watch it, that thing will bite your fingers. Ah, right, let me come around, I'll help. Still slightly out of breath from toting that seat. This is the right hand side bolts. You can get to them pretty easy. There's the left hand bolts I was trying to get into. And I own one crap I couldn't get to. Thought this was gonna be an easy project to ease off into the year. But it has not been that way so far. Testing, testing. Are y'all okay? <laughs> alright? Are y'all alright? It didn't get you, did it? <laughs> it liked to got us. Oh, oh, it's for a seat cushion. Now we got to take off the armrest and uh, So if you're thinking about changing a seat cushion on the John Deere, I would get all the life. I would get all the life I could get out of it before I went through all this. Finally. Thank you. I've got to tell you a story about that in a minute. Bruiser.
this time than I had it last time. So me and Robert's about the same height and we always ride the seat in the same spot so we never adjust the back and forth much and it done got rusty down here at the bottom and uh this plate was supposed to move back and forth where you could get to them boats and that was what was giving us so much trouble if we knew this had had the full range of motion we might have could have done it different but we gonna spray it down with some little bit of lube so while we got this seat out we're gonna clean up on this tractor yeah So the seat on this tractor is a hydraulically operated seat. That cylinder right there raises the seat up and down to where you want it. And it's also supposed to provide some cushion before you ride. There's spots that's still really good on the interior. And there's spots that's pretty rough. And all them spots under the seat's kind of rough we gonna try to make it last a couple years because it's not cheap to put an interior in these tractors well it's a little better not great but better won't nobody won't nobody say it when you put that seat in there no way for the fun part. Make sure to hold toward the front. Sorry. I'm trying to keep my finger from getting pinched. <laughs> I don't know where y'all want to sit. Ah, leave me alone!
plastic cover. Well, guys, that's a heck of a lot easier when uh, the seat goes back and forth as far as it should. All we got to do is put the cover back on. My darn. Like I was talking about, this interior is five years old and it's giving up on us. These are high traffic areas like that seat bounces up and down on it and then you accidentally kick it and crap like that. It's rough on them interiors. They come up with a lot better interior when they went to like the 8000 series tractors. some tools well guys we've got our new seat in seat cushion you can't tell it we don't got it all dusty and crap we'll have to get the vacuum in here on it but yep that's it this seat originally had an armrest like it right there and then shoop sells this kit shoop or song express one sells this kit where you take the armrest on and bolt this over and make a little buddy seat, instructor seat, whatever you want to call it, that fills in this little area here. And we put that in in 2015 as well. But boy, it sure went back together a lot easier when uh, we got lubed all this up and got this seat backward. It would move back and forth, but it wouldn't wasn't going down its full range of wasn't going down its full range of travel but let's try it I, boy, oh that's, that's so much better i don't normally ride that high let's get down here where i ride about about right there is where i normally ride we're gonna get that accumulator fixed tomorrow that's all i got for y'all today I still got to go feed some hogs. Got to go check on my grandmother's heat pump up here. And then my wife called and said I got a water leak at the house. So my day's not over. But y'all have fun. Have a good rest of the night. Catch you in the morning.